Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to complete the Kimiot Shrine here in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so as soon as you start the shrine, the first thing you want to do is come down here and grab our weapons. And we're going to work our way to the left side. Over here, we're going to have some ice fruit. This is going to be really important, so make sure that you grab this. And before we take out any constructs, we're going to come right over here and use Ascend, and we're going to have some spike balls. These are also going to be really important. Now, you only need them on one weapon. You can put them on both if you like. But once you have at least one spike ball on a weapon, we're going to come down here and take out a couple constructs. Now, if you didn't alert them at the beginning, I didn't alert them. You're only going to have two to fight on this side of the room. There's one on the other side of the room as well. If you alert them at the beginning, he's going to run over and you'll have to fight three. But for this video, because I didn't alert them, we're just going to fight the first two that are over here on this side. And once you take them out, we're going to use our arrows and our ice fruit to make a path leading to the columns in the middle. So you guys can see we have some constructs up top. Instead of going up there and fighting them, we're just going to make this path all the way to this back column that's made of rock. And we're going to use the spike ball weapon that we just made to tear it down. And it's going to take them all out super easily. You can see we'll hop up here, start hitting it with the spike ball. It'll knock them all down and pretty much finish the shrine for you. Um, and like I said, if you still got this guy over here and he didn't come after you at the beginning, just run over here and take him out. He's super simple. Um, but once you take him out, the shrine will be complete. You're going to get all your stuff back and the final door is going to open up and you'll be able to go back there and grab the chest. And inside the chest, you're going to have a pretty decent weapon. So I highly recommend you take it if you've got room um, and then you'll be able to finish it. But this is how to complete the shrine. If you guys have any other questions on how to get this done, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys in the next video.